Hello Capricorn, this is your reading for April 2018. Mercury in retrograde reading is uploaded and it still stands. You can go look at that. That's outside influences coming towards you. But this is for Capricorn, April 2018. Capricorn, April 2018. Capricorn, April, the month of April 2018. Did shuffle these earlier. I do meditate on them. I like them nice and shuffled. So what you got here? Hope March was good. Better. I should say. Seven of Swords. So someone would be going under the radar. With possibly a fire sign. So what you got here is the Three of Swords, so it's crossing it, like I said, is the Queen of Wands. That could be a fire sign, could be an Aries, but also could be a Leo or Sagittarius, male or female, it doesn't matter. But we're basically just giving you uh, what is occurring at the time. So it's a three-party uh, situation, doesn't necessarily have to be outside of a relationship type of, uh, like, an affair. But there is a type of heartbreak there. Three of Swords is a... a attached to heartbreak and it has a lot to do with this fire energy or someone that has a lot of fire in the chart or just a fiery person in general. So why is the three of swords there for Capricorn? Yeah, you know, someone stopped the three party situation. Maybe they stopped it. They stopped one thing and they began something new. So it could be a third party situation. Maybe they were in a relationship and decided to uh, be in another one, start something new. Or this could be, you know, someone you're involved with that, that had somebody else and started something new. These energies can be reversed. But what's crossing you is definitely someone with a lot of fiery in them, fire in them. And in the past, a completion came to a, uh, there's a completion. It's a four of wands. When it's reversed, it's like, um, like a happy home when it's upright, but when it's reversed, something became unsettled. And a, a happy home type of situation, celebration type. Uh, Four of Wands, it's a good card. It's usually someone gets what they want when it's in the upright, like I said, but it is reversed. So something happened. Four of Wands, why are you there? Yeah, you, something new didn't start off for sure, or what you thought was going to be a new thing maybe didn't take off. Or this, like I said, it could be your partner or someone that's in your life. Now, as the foundation, you got the Ten of Swords. It's in reverse, which is good, with the Page of Swords. Maybe you got you felt stabbed in the back by a message that you got in the past. You're, get, you're coming out of it, a feeling that way, but it's still there. Give me another card for the Ten of Swords. Like someone gave you a message, a message you didn't like possibly, because the Page of Swords is in reverse. And that's someone who gives off messages, and it's really um, fast energy, abrupt. And sometimes feelings aren't considered. So what? why is the Ten of Swords in reverse? Why is the Ten of Swords in reverse for Capricorn? Ten of Swords in reverse for Capricorn. Why are you there? The foundation. Yeah, some injustice was done by someone to someone, and they felt stabbed in the back, and that's a past type element, but it is the foundation of what's occurring in April. Now, your goal is as uh, the Nine of Cups, and it's in reverse, so you may be just looking towards, you're just really unhappy, and you can turn that around with the, uh, the Nine of Cups, because it's not a major arcana, but it's trying to come out. Yeah, you're wanting happiness. There's, there's that. Um, they're both there. That's both cups energy. Nine of cups. You got the unhappy energy here, and next to it is the um, also the nine of cups. So it's like someone is their goal is to come out of happiness to be happy again. And you may get that. Sometimes the goal is the outcome in these readings. Now. At the uh. The end, or the um, outcome, the near outcome, the near future, in April, you have the Five of Wands, and it's in reverse, so you're coming out of strife. You are going to 
can't get that happiness possibly, but let's find out for sure. Why is the Five of Wands reversed? Five again. Yeah, you're coming out of strife. You're coming out of anger, even, and you're coming out of feeling stabbed in your back, and your goal is to be happy again, possibly over a third-party situation. I need one more card because I'm just getting, like, doubles here. I need something for the five of wands. Yeah, you're coming out of heartbreak. You're coming out of a nightmare situation with this, again, queen of wands. So... Yeah, you may be looking back in the past to make a judgment call. You may make up with somebody, or it may be another fire sign. But we do have the Queen of Wands twice. We have the Two of Cups twice. I mean, the Nine of Cups twice. I'll get this out soon. And we got the Five of Wands twice, and they're all kind of, well, the two of them are together. But uh, it's got a lot to do with this fire element. I think you're going to come out of strife with this fire element. You're going to make sound judgments. You're not going to battle anymore. You're going to come out of this nightmarish situation because the Nine of Swords is reverse. So life is good. I need one more card as overall energy. Usually I give a vice card, but it's look like it's telling you things are going to work out if you allow it. You're going to aim for happiness, whatever this with this fire energy is. You're going to come out of strife there, Capricorn. One more card. Yep, it's not going to be 100%, but the Sun card, even reverse, is a good card. So you're coming out of the strife, whatever you were in, and you're going to work it out. It's going to be slow coming. It's going to happen all through April. You're getting maybe, a, maybe someone else threw a monkey wrench in your relationship somehow, and it caused a little bit of a disturbance or a bit of an argument, someone felt backstabbed and they're coming out of it and they're looking for happiness and they're going to let uh, put down those wands and not fight anymore. So that is your reading Capricorn. Let you go. Bye.